What is up, everybody? So before I get into the Packers' newest signing, I wanted to let you guys know I will be putting out another Packers Q&A later today. And if you are on my Packers email list, you will receive this. And if you want to receive the Packers Q&A later today, you can click the link down below, enter your email, and you'll receive it later today whenever I finish writing it. So now to the news that just came out in the past hour or so. We have from Mike Garofalo. The Packers are signing veteran safety Rudy Ford. Source says... Two days after being let go by the Jaguars, Ford has a new home. So as most of you guys know, yesterday the Packers' final roster came out. The final 53-man roster, but now the Packers have added another safety, which makes me wonder who the Packers are going to release. Because if we take a look at the Packers' current safety situation before the signing of Ford, we have Adrian Amos, Darnell Savage, Dallin Levitt, Tariq Carpenter, and Micah Abernathy, the undrafted free agent. So I'm curious what the other move is going to be. But if we take a look at Ford and sort of what has happened in the past few days, first off here from Ian Rappaport, the Jaguars are releasing safety and special teams ace Rudy Ford, source said, had a role last year on defense and the new coaching staff only viewed him in a special teams role. Multiple teams attempted a trade, but his $2 million salary was prohibitive and now he's available on open market. Multiple teams see something in him, which gives me even more confidence in this signing. And I was curious as to, okay, why are the Jaguars letting him go if he does seem to be of value? And here is a little bit of information from a Jaguars site from Jaguars Wire. And this is what they said. Since joining Jacksonville last season, Ford looked to have come into his own, especially on special teams where he played a key role. The revelation of rookie Josh Thompson as a gunner on the punt unit may have caused Ford his job with this move as a first-year prospect made one of the best plays of Jacksonville's preseason on a near-touchback tipped punt against Pittsburgh. So it looks like maybe the rookie there in Jacksonville, according to Jaguars Wire, could have been one of the reasons Ford was let go of the Jaguars. And now I want to sort of show you Rudy Ford, where he's come from, how he's played in the NFL so far. So here I am at pff.com. As you can see, 5'11", 204 pounds, went to college at Auburn, was drafted in 2017 by the Arizona Cardinals in the sixth round of that 2017 NFL draft. And if we look at his time, he starts off in Arizona, being drafted by them, played in 10 games as a core special teamer. Unfortunately, then suffered a knee injury placed on the IR. Then in 2019, he's traded to the Eagles, where he spends lots of the time on the IR as well. And then from there, he went to the Jacksonville Jaguars, where he signed a two-year, $4.2 million deal with the Jaguars in 2021. And if you look down here at the bottom, it shows his season grades and how many snaps he played in each year. And this is defensive snaps. As you can see in his first one, two, three, four years in Arizona and Philadelphia, barely played any time on the defense, was mainly on special teams. But then last year in Jacksonville, played 423 snaps. He started in four different games at safety. He also had nine pressures, which is interesting. He lined up on the defensive line 31 total times in 2021. So he seems to be versatile, can be used in many different ways. Lined up in the slot 273 times, lined up in the box 99 times. So not only can he play safety, but he's also a core special teams guy. So now I want to show you his special team stats here and how many snaps he played on special teams in his career. And as you can see, 976 total special team snaps in his, what, one, two, three, four, five years in the league. 177 last year, a lot when he was younger in his career. So it looks like the Packers are getting a veteran player, a veteran safety to add to this unit. A guy who not only can play special teams, but last year saw an uptick when it came to playing on defense playing 400 plus snaps. And so I think when we look at this Packers safety unit right now, there were some some injury concerns earlier in the preseason and training camp with Darnell Savage being out for a few weeks with his hamstring injury and then also Dallin Levitt with a shoulder injury being out as well. And now with Tariq Carpenter being a young player here, seventh round draft pick, with Micah Abernathy being an undrafted free agent who hasn't really played much at all in the NFL, Rudy Ford at least is a player who does have some more experience. So if Let's say, for example, Darnell Savage isn't able to start week one, which it seems like he should, considering he was back last week of practice. Um, Rudy Ford could be a solid depth piece here in Green Bay. And Brian Gutekinds is good at finding these hidden gems, as I've talked about last year. Rasul Douglas, Devondre Campbell. I'm not saying Rudy Ford is going to be that, but at least you know the Packers have, are able to get a guy who can play very well in special teams, which I think could be the main reason they brought him in, but also add some depth at safety. So that is all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to receive my Packers Q&A later today, click the link down below, enter your email, and you should receive it. Um, but that is all I have for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.